live stream in history. Help me! In the late 1990s, reality television was evolving. Producers were pushing boundaries, experimenting with new ways to captivate audiences. But in 1998, a Japanese TV show crossed a line no one could have imagined. It was called Susunu, Denpa Shonen, and it featured a man named Nasubi, an aspiring comedian who unknowingly became the subject of one of the most extreme and morally questionable experiments in television history. Today, we'll unravel the story of the most evil stream ever aired. A story of desperation, exploitation, and the dangerous hunger for ratings. The rise of reality TV and Nasubi's introduction. By the late 90s, Japan's television industry was thriving. Comedy, variety shows, and game shows were staples of entertainment. But as competition grew, producers sought more innovative and extreme concepts to capture attention. Enter Susunu, Denpa Shonen, a show infamous for its bizarre and often cruel stunts. Each segment was designed to push participants to their limits. But in 1998, the show's producers decided to create something truly unforgettable. They called it Sweepstakes Life. To bring their twisted vision to life, they needed someone willing or naive enough to agree that someone was Tomoaki Hamatsu, better known as Nasubi. Nasubi was a struggling comedian in his 20s, known for his distinctive egg-shaped face. He earned the nickname Nasubi, meaning eggplant. Like many young comedians, he was desperate for his big break. So when he was chosen for what he thought was a quirky TV challenge, he jumped at the chance. Little did he know, he was signing up for over a year of isolation, humiliation and suffering. The premise and the setup. The rules were simple, or so it seemed. Nasubi would be locked in a tiny, unfurnished apartment. He was given nothing. No clothes, no food, no human contact. His only lifeline was a stack of magazines and postcards. To survive, he had to win everything he needed, from food to basic necessities, through sweepstakes. The producers promised he could leave once he won one million yen worth of prizes. Until then, he would remain completely alone. What Nasubi didn't know was that hidden cameras were installed throughout the apartment. His every move would be broadcast live to millions of viewers across Japan. Each week, the highlights of his struggles would air in prime time, heavily edited to maximize humor at his expense. Total. Wait. Hey. Na, na, <laughs> At first, Nasubi approached the challenge with optimism. He diligently filled out postcards, believing he could achieve his goal quickly. But days turned into weeks and weeks into months. The prizes he won were often absurdly mismatched to his needs. A bag of rice, one week. A pack of dog food, another. Sometimes nothing at all. His only relief came from the rare moments when he won something useful. But even then, survival was a challenge. Without proper utensils, he improvised, eating rice with his hands and rationing food to last as long as possible. Meanwhile, the psychological toll of isolation began to take hold. Deprived of human interaction, Nasubi talked to himself, sang songs, and tried to maintain his sanity. Nasubi's 
ビーナスちゃんとおさんぽ。ビーナス連れて初めてのおさんぽ。<笑>さんぽ<笑>さんぽ<笑>フフフ。Nasubi finally reached the one million yen prize goal. Exhausted but triumphant, he believed his ordeal was over. Oh, you're going to be a little bit of 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 a The producers took Nasubi to Korea, telling him it was a celebration for completing the game and for all of his hard work. So they went to an amusement park. He ate a lot of great food. He had a wonderful, incredible time. And then things got. But the producers had other plans. Instead of setting him free, they moved him to a new location in South Korea. There, he had to start all over again. For Nasubi, this betrayal. Was a breaking point. His trust in the producers and the very reality of his situation was shattered. But with no choice, he continued the challenge, desperate to see it through to the end. The aftermath and public reaction. When Nasubi was finally released, he discovered the truth. His isolation had been a massive hit. Millions of viewers had tuned in to watch his every move, laughing at his struggles and rooting for his survival. While some praised his perseverance, others were horrified. The show sparked a national debate about ethics in entertainment. Critics accused the producers of exploiting Nasubi's suffering for profit, turning his pain into a grotesque spectacle. For Nasubi, the ordeal left deep scars. Though he continued to work in entertainment, he rarely speaks about his time on the show. The psychological impact of his isolation remains a cautionary tale for reality TV producers and audiences alike. Today, the lines between entertainment and exploitation are blurrier than ever. From extreme survival shows to the rise of live stream challenges, the hunger for raw, unfiltered content. Continues to grow.